Debbie Wingham Heals, $15.1 million. You might recognize Debbie Wingham's name from other outrageous and over-opulent items she's designed, like her $17 million red Abaya dress that's encrusted with over 2,000 diamonds. Or the record-breaking, admittedly recycled Easter gift, which is a $6.7 million purse that's made of real emu egg, an Hermes scarf, 8,000 diamonds, and a clasp of Cartier earrings. We could only guess when she was commissioned to create a pair of heels for a family in Dubai what those shoes would turn up like. Artist Chris Campbell did the crafting part. Pure gold. The plaque underneath the shoes and its zips are made from 18 karat gold. Oh, and also add an additional 18K gold thread for the stitching. On each toe, there are handcrafted Arabian jasmine made from fine leather, and 24K gold paint was used to paint said leather for an effect of gold and rose gold. The amount of diamond used is ridiculous. There's a total of four 3 carat diamonds, 1 carat blue diamonds, 3 carat pink diamonds, and 1,000 pointer diamonds that are set in platinum stitching the shoes. It's supposed to look like a cake. All we're left to wonder is who's the lucky girl who's receiving these shoes? Rita Hayworth Heels by Stuart Weitzman, $3 million. Before the Debbie Wingham and the Passion Diamond heels were made, Stuart Weitzman's designer Rita Hayworth heels were the most expensive shoes to ever be made. The heels were inspired by Hayworth, one of the most popular actresses slash dancers slash all-around amazing people ever. She was known as the Love Goddess, and during the World War II GIs, she was the most popular pinup girl. The designer, Weitzman, who's worked with artists like Beyonce and Taylor Swift before, features Rita's earrings, made of brilliant rubies, sapphires, and diamonds. The earrings are centered in the middle of satin flowers, ruffled at the toe of the heels. The rest is created from rust-colored satin, often described as a burnt sienna. The iconic shoes were worn by American actress-slash-singer-songwriter Kathleen Bird York to the Oscars in 2006, but that doesn't mean the heels are for sale. Rita's daughter, Princess Yasmin Aga Khan, inherited them and proudly holds them in possession. Nick Cannon's Custom Slippers by Tom Ford and Jason Arashabin, $2 million. When you have millions to spare, what's one more shoe? Nick Cannon, American comedian and America's Got Talent host, commissioned an average pair of Tom Ford loafers. These normally would cost $1,000 or so, and gave them to Jason Arashabin to give it some pizzazz. It sounds mild compared to the final result. Arashabin, a famous jeweler for celebrities, placed more than 14,000 diamonds on both shoes. That's 340 carats, and each stud is flawlessly full-cut round and in color of white gold. Finding those took over four months, and after almost a year of painstakingly working on them, Nick Cannon wore them to the Season 9 finale of America's Got Talent. The cost of labor and resources amounts to a total of $2 million. They were even submitted to Guinness World Records to be evaluated as the most expensive shoes in the world. Michael Jordan's autographed Nike Air Jordan 1s, $560,000. In May 2020, an online auction sold Michael Jordan's autographed Nike Air Jordan 1s for the groundbreaking price of $560,000. That makes it the most expensive sneakers ever sold, and also kind of the most expensive used shoes ever sold. The iconic red, black, and white sneakers were worn by Michael Jordan, sizes 13 and 13.5 respectively, in-game in his rookie NBA season. In black marker, Jordan etched his signature. The shoes were custom-made to be mismatched so that they would fit Jordan. The auction house themselves didn't expect the sneakers to sell for that part. The original asking price was $150,000, but after a bidding war, it was sold to an unnamed buyer. The sale was timed with the Air Jordan brand, the most iconic sneaker line ever's 35th anniversary. And it also shared timing with the release of the final episode of The Last Dance, an ESPN documentary on Michael Jordan's career. Catherine Wilson Charity Pumps, $400,000. The designer had to hire bodyguards to accompany her whenever she transported the shoe or went out to source its materials. 
So why would a pair of shoes possibly require such a need for security? It's the diamond-encrusted charity pumps by Catherine Wilson. It was made with white shoes, which Wilson put over 50 hours to tediously and painstakingly glue diamonds onto using tweezers and a special adhesive. The work was grueling and no doubt frustrating, as she had to carefully measure where each diamond would go and how many carats it would take, counting the laces and embellishments. In the end, she placed 21.18 carats of diamonds. It was all worth it, for she made it for a good cause. Wilson was an ambassador for the Ronald McDonald House Charities, a non-for-profit organization that supports families with sick children and provides housing. The fit for a princess pumps were auctioned to an unknown buyer. The money it raised greatly benefited the organization. <clears throat> the Ruby Slippers by Harry Winston, $3 million. The original movie slippers were just regular shoes with red sequins, but they're a symbol of revolution for Dorothy, an average person, to triumph. The pair worn in the movie was sold for $612,000, but that's not the pair of shoes we're speaking about today. We're talking about Harry Winston's $3 million replica of the ruby slippers. Well, his virgin with a personal touch. He made them for the 50th anniversary of The Wizard of Oz, after being reminded of the anniversary by his son. It took Winston two months to finish making them, and the result was a shiny pair of ruby red slippers with 1,350 carats of rubies, 50 carats of diamonds, and 4,600 gemstones. Excluding the no doubt enormous cost of the jewelry, Harry Winston is a pretty big name in the jewelry world. He's a luxury jeweler, and he's known as the King of Diamonds. And the work he had to put into carefully arranging the diamonds, add the labor costs to the brand name and the materials, and you have a $3 million price tag. The Cinderella Heels by Stuart Weitzman, $2 million. We all know how the Cinderella story goes. Poor Orphan is made to serve her evil stepmother and wicked stepsisters until the prince of their land announces a ball. Skip ahead through all the other bits, dress, carriage, until you get to the magical glass slippers. In real life, there's no practical way to replicate Cinderella's iconic glass slippers, but the majestic creation that Stuart Weitzman came up with comes pretty close. The shoes themselves are made from Italian leather, platinum, and transparent material as to mimic the glass look, leaving the foot practically bare. But it's not completely transparent. Each toe has amaretto diamonds, and the two straps on the shoe have 5,655 kawatt diamonds. Nike, the moon shoes, $437,500. The moon shoes is one of the most important pieces of Nike's history. Story goes is that Nike's co-founder, Bill Bowerman, tinkered with his wife's waffle iron, and instead of batter, he poured rubber in instead, creating one of the most iconic shoes in history. This is one of the 23 pairs that were made for the 1972 U.S. Olympic trials and was hand cobbled by Jeff Hollister. It's made from white nylon with black swooshes. Unlike the other pairs, this one was never worn, hence the sky-high price tag. In 2019, the auction house Sotheby had collaborated with Stadium Goods to put an ultimate sneaker collection of rare pairs. The starting bid was a measly $80,000, but Miles Nadal, the founder of the investment firm Parige Capital, went all in with the bidding until they settled for the price of $437,500. Not only that, but Nadal also purchased the rest of the 99 limited edition sneakers that were auctioned for $850,000. The Passion Diamond Shoes, $17 million. The Passion Diamond was made by collaboration between the two brands Jada Dubai and Passion Jewelers. Jada Dubai is a luxurious brand that only manufactures shoes that feature diamonds. Their average pair of shoes sell for $25,000. It was displayed at the extremely luxurious Seven Stars Hotel, the Burj Al Arab in Dubai. Passion Jewelers customers and the top of the elite from around the world made up the 50 VIP guests that were invited. The shoes were designed in Italy and custom made in Dubai. It took nine months to create the Passion Diamond. It's in the shape of stilettos and is made of real gold, gold patent leather, silk, and even more gold. Each shoe is framed by 118 small round diamonds and has a crowning jewel near the pointed toe. It's also adorned with two round 15 carat D flawless diamonds. 
If that's still not enough gold for your taste, the insoles are also inscribed in gold. The outline is lined with 236 diamonds used. The stilettos displayed were a prototype and a default EU36 size. They were to be customized to fit the new buyer. Tanzanite heels, $2 million. Stuart Weitzman is dominating the world of luxury and expensive items. In 2006, he started to work with jewelry designer Eddie Levian to create what is now the $2 million Tanzanite heels. To get an idea of why the heels are so expensive, besides the innate fact that it was made by world-class famous jewelers, is the main gemstone, the Tanzanite. Tanzanites only have one source to be mined from, which is deep in the foothills of Mount Kilimanjaro, making it a thousand times rarer than diamonds. Now that we know that, the 16-carat pear-shaped Tanzanite is even more impressive. It even matches the ankle strap that is encrusted with diamonds. Technically an evening sandal, they feature 185 carats of tanzanites in the radiant colors blue and purple, and 28 carats of diamonds. The heels are covered in precious metal platinum.